Hello and welcome to the first video of the Blender for Beginners course. Uh, we're going to have a look at the Blender interface to begin with. So before we go ahead and make some movies or some awesome 3D models, let's spend a bit of time understanding the Blender interface. So at first glance you would notice that the Blender interface looks quite different. It doesn't look like a typical Windows application or an Apple application or Android or any other operating system. It sort of looks unique in its own way. And you might be thinking that this is an interface that's probably operated by some rocket scientist from NASA or something. Uh, and this is probably one of the main reasons why a lot of people do tend to shy away from Blender. It's because it tends to look a little bit complex and clunky at first glance. But I do promise you that once you get the hang of this interface, you'll feel like you're in full control as an artist, as a filmmaker, as a game developer, and so on. So now I'm just going to share with you one important concept about Blender. Blender is made up of Windows. And I don't mean like Windows 10 or anything. I mean like it uses the windowing system. Everything that you see in Blender is composed of Windows. And Windows are great for multitasking. For example, you can have Google Chrome open in one window and say Media Player, if anyone still uses it, in another window. So this allows you to listen to music using Media Player and at the same time using Google Chrome to do your homework or check your Facebook and things like that. And that tends to make our life a lot more efficient and convenient. And that tends to be one of the main reasons why people tend to prefer win the windowing system. So in Blender, it's pretty much the same thing. You can have, say, the 3D viewport open in one window and a video editor open in, say, another window. So um, this tends to make it very, very convenient for a 3D artist to go in and quickly make, you know, whatever they want to make. Um, in this case, if, if they're using a 3D viewport and video editor at the same time, they'd probably be making a movie. And obviously these things here, like the 3D viewport, the, the timeline, uh, the outliner, the properties window, the video editor, and all these things are called editors in Blender. And only one editor can be opened within one window. So as you can see, if I click this button here, you can see the list of all the editors we have within Blender. So as you can see right now, we have the 3D view selected. If I change this to the video sequence editor, this window will now be comprised of the video editor. If I change back to the 3D view, we'll go back to the 3D view again. So this one is the timeline. And obviously I can change to any other um, app or editor within Blender. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll, we'll have a deeper look at each of the editors in detail throughout the remainder of this course. But I uh, just wanted to let you know the basics. Um, okay, so just a little bit more on Windows. Um, you can have multiple windows open in one screen. So for example, if I want to change the size of one of these windows, I can drag the, um, the boundary line or the edge and just uh, move it up and down to my liking. You can also move from left to right and so on. To add a new window, uh, all I have to do is drag, as you can see, these three diagonal lines here. Just click there left click and drag upwards and that will you know create an extra window for you and you can obviously resize this and do whatever you like with this window as well okay and if you want to delete a window um, you have to left click and drag instead of going up you go down and you will see an error don't let go of your mouse and you will see these arrows here so I'm not letting go of my mouse yet so if I hover my mouse over the top of this window you'll see the arrow pointing there if I hover the mouse below the uh, diagonal lines, you'll see the arrow pointing down there. So if I let go, that window will dis disappear and will, the top window will expand out uh, to make well, the extended view. So as you can see, that uh, window has now disappeared and I have that one big window now. So for instance, if I just change this back to the timeline view, some 3D artists like to have uh, multiple 3D viewports, but with, with different views. So that is pretty easy to do. All I have to do is um, say I can close down this window. I want to split this into half. 
So I'm just going to select the three diagonal lines from the top and just drag out uh, a new window. And then I want to uh, create one here and left click drag up here. And now I can say, uh, I can now switch the viewport. So front view, uh, side view, right view, whatever. Uh, top view and I don't know, uh, left view. And generally artists can tend to, like you know, from here the artists can tend to work in multiple views. Um, don't worry if you don't know how I did the front, right, top, left. That I will show exactly how I did that in a later tutorial. Just don't want to bombard you with too much information to begin with. All right. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say for this. Uh, to obviously delete the windows, I'm instead of going in the uh, left direction, I'm going in the right direction, away from that window. So that will remove, and then I just left click, left click drag. Once I see the arrow, I just let go and that will remove the window. And that's pretty much it for Windows. I hope this video was useful to you and it wasn't too overwhelming. In the next video, we will start to look at the Blender interface. I look forward to seeing you then and keep blending.